Well, it's the last week of the regular season for Raiders sports. We kick off this episode with a great match here at Sprague for boys soccer. Flashback two weeks ago and Wellesley was very close to not even earning a tourney spot. But here on Tuesday, this team is not only postseason bound, but also stands atop the Hergit. That in itself speaks volumes for this team and the effort each player on this roster has given. The Framingham has a solid season as well, coming in at 7-2-6, and six, but are nowhere near the top of the carry while powerhouses Needham and Braintree continue to control their division. With still a lot riding on this game though, early on things already get heated in this Bay State Conference battle on the turf. After Framingham scores first on Mateus Moreira's header, Wellesley is quick to respond with this resounding breakaway goal by Matt Denary, who ties it up at 1. And that 1-1 score would remain about halfway through the second period. But hold on as the rest of the way in this final frame is packed with offensive energy on both sides. Here on this play, Danny Campos with the penalty shot hits post, but ricochets back inside and finds net. That score puts Framingham back up 2-1. Flyers then change out their goalie, and now with Brett Carlin guarding the net, the Raiders look to take advantage on this corner. Will Corkill sets and rips the shot perfectly, and freshman Nick Kolb lays down the clutch header. Once again, we are tied up here, now at 2-2 in this back-and-forth game. Barely 20 seconds pass from that score, though, and this put-back goal by Cam Klein looks to be the go-ahead score for Framingham, as Flyers retake the lead 3-2. So facing a deficit yet again, will the Raiders be able to respond for a third time? Well, let's find out. Framingham gets penalized on this play, setting up a crucial free kick at the 40-yard line. And you couldn't ask for a better kick here by Cooper Richards. As the ball soars deep and Eric Pracken's header bounces past Brett Carlin, and you guessed it, we are tied up again. So coming out of a timeout with just seconds left, Flyers get one last shot here as this corner by Danny Campos could be a game changer here for sure. Mateus Moreira drops the header, but while the ball catches air, the final whistle blows and time runs out. And the Flyers as a team are not happy with the call, but there's no denying that the game clock has officially run out. What a game as Raiders dug themselves out of a deficit three times in this match. Wellesley earns a well-deserved 3-3 draw here as Framingham, looking to come out of Sprague with a victory, just could not stop the fight and determination of this Raider team. So it goes as a final tie, Wellesley 3, Framingham 3. So we stay with soccer on Thursday as it would be senior day for nine Raiders who have contributed and helped turn this season around for Wellesley. Under head coach Tim Mason's guidance, the leadership from these nine, without a doubt, has solidified a confidence in this team that is undeniable. Opening half, Will Corkill gets the ball back from Brennan Conroy. Corkill boots it and Andreas Caverga sinks in the putback score, give Wellesley a quick one goal advantage. Natick has a great chance here, tied up to say the least. Dermot Adelman draws out Jeff Gilbert and with a ton of net open waiting for him, Adelman sees his kick go just too far left. So with that missed opportunity, we fast forward to the middle of the final period. Raiders looking for more, get it here. When Austin Pinot's shot settles around the crease, freshman Owen D. Oliveira beats Tim Biaggi, stuffing in a key insurance goal for the Raiders. It's 2 0 Wellesley. As time continues to tick away here for Natick, Alessandro LaMonica looks more than ready to break through this Red Hawk shutout, but gets denied by the great defense from freshman Nick Kolb. So Wellesley takes care of business here at Sprague, shutting out their Bay State Conference rivals, the Red Hawks, to the final 2 0 as they close out the regular season with a win and a ton of momentum heading in to the MIAA playoffs. Well, girls soccer also earning a postseason berth as well, winning four of their last five games of the season. We head to Honeywell Field on Saturday for the Division II South quarterfinals, where your number two seed Wellesley Raiders would finally be able to host a playoff game here at home, taking on the seventh seeded Braintree Wamps. Raiders get the ball first and eat up some clock already in this opening quarter. Third and three on Wellesley's 39-yard line, Jake Mullen runs the option and pitches it out to Brendan Dolan on the end around. Dolan's down the sidelines in a hurry, makes it to the Braintree 43 for the first down. A few plays later, Raiders staying with the option, and Brendan Dolan again takes the pitch out, running down the sidelines, but this time, Dolan is not going to be stopped. Brendan Dolan takes it to the house on this 34-yard touchdown run, and scoring on their opening drive, Wellesley quickly leads 7-0. Here in the second, Wellesley gets a great chance to add to their one touchdown lead. 
first and 10 at the Womps 46, Jake Moen steps back and airs a perfect throw to Griffin Morgan. Morgan reels in the catch just inside the 15-yard line. Great catch, big play here for the Raiders. But Braintree's defense steps up on the next down, and then Brennan Dolan cannot hold on to this third down pass. But now it's fourth down. Tough call to make, but Raiders go with the 32-yard field goal attempt. That's a tough challenge indeed for any high school kicker. And so Brennan Dolan, with the try, is well short. That stop on a possible scoring drive would be key as we go deeper into this game here. So on defense, Raiders force Womps to punt. But Griffin Morgan fumbles after Tyler Devane lays down the hit and Braintree recovers. Very next snap, Justin Ducher catches a Mitchell Devins pass, but Braintree adds on 15 more yards on this play with a Sam McGee unnecessary roughness call. Penalties will especially cost you in the playoffs, and the problems continue for Wellesley as Mitchell Devins airs it deep to Tyler Devane. Brennan Dolan times it perfectly with this great pick. With his back to the play, Miles Cole doesn't pick up on that and is called for the clear pass interference. Raiders defense would sure love that play back as the ball remains with Braintree instead. And so on third and goal, running back Dan Valicenti goes strong side and punches it into the end zone to tie up this game. Wellesley's penalties prove to be costly as we close out the first half all tied up at 7-7. Fast forward to the third, the score remains the same until Womps pull off the trick play here. Reverse inside handoff, Nick Martin leads the defense away, leaving it wide open for Dan Valicente. And Valicente breaks it down the sidelines and beats everyone for the go-ahead score. The Womps take the lead for the first time today as Valicente's 55-yard touchdown run gives Braintree a 14-7 advantage. The bad breaks keep coming for the Raiders here as Grant Kosikis blocking on his play just gets leveled from behind as players fall on his backside. Kosikis thankfully is able to walk to the bench on his own, though limping, but being a double weapon for this team on both sides of the ball, it's just something you just don't want to see happen. With only three minutes left to go in the fourth, quarterback Jake Moen, always so dangerous on the option run, looks to also be in intense pain after this play. But give Jake Moen the toughness award, while clearly limping, still tries to lead this team downfield to try and tie things back up here. But it would end up being turnover on downs for Wellesley in these closing minutes. And all Braintree has to do is take a knee. So at three and four, Braintree comes in and upsets the number two seed here. Braintree stays alive in the Division II South playoffs to face Needham, while the Raiders not only have to deal with this disappointing playoff loss, but as the next two weeks come with consolation matches, these questions remain. Will Raiders find that high-powered offense they had at the beginning of this solid season? And will Jake Moen and Grant Kosikis be healthy enough to lead this Raiders team to victory heading in to Thanksgiving? We'll have to wait and see. It's the final here at Honeywell, Braintree 14, Wellesley 7. Well, the fall regular season for Wellesley sports may be officially over, but boys football, soccer, and girls soccer, volleyball, and field hockey have all earned themselves playoff berths. Congratulations to all the teams and their solid winning seasons. Let's keep it going. Stay with Wellesley Media as we keep you covered with playoff games and highlights right here, Comcast 9 and Verizon 39.